Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Daniel Rosso. I've discussed on a few occasions Ireland's poisonous political relationship with Israel. In general, Israel advocacy, also known as Hasbara, isn't something that I really like to get involved in. However, as there are very few Irish-born Jews living in the world, I sometimes feel compelled to comment on these things when they pertain to this particular bilateral relationship. I recently covered on this YouTube channel the state visit of Irish Deputy Prime Minister Michal Martin to Israel, which I can summarise as being a complete and utter joke. Martin launched on a weird kind of grovelling campaign trying to convince the Israelis that Ireland isn't a totally hostile country. The messaging in Israel fell totally flat, which is generally what happens when someone is lying through their teeth and doing so to your face. Recently Israel has come under an assault that's almost unprecedented in its history. Last week Hamas militants succeeded in breaching the border of the Gaza Strip and engaged in mass murder, rape and abduction of Israeli citizens on an unprecedented scale. Israel and much of the free thinking world was justifiably shocked and appalled by this barbaric behaviour. Last night US President Joe Biden offered a rousing speech strongly backing Israel's right to exercise self-defence in these horrible circumstances. He did so without mentioning even once the need for proportionality or any other kind of apparent moral equivalency between Israel and Hamas. Because when we're talking about raping teenagers and beheading babies, one really has to stop and wonder what exactly a proportionate response to these sickening crimes would look like. As I live in Israel, my immediate concern has been my own personal survival, by which I mean following the directives for what to do when rocket sirens go off and stockpiling vital supplies such as water. However, I eventually got around to seeing what Ireland's reaction to the escalation had been and found myself predictably enraged and appalled. While the world has for once chosen to unequivocally condemn a sickening civilian massacre carried out by barbaric jihadists, Ireland has become just about the first among the world nations to throw in the proportionality tagline, which is basically a disguised way of asking Israel to not do too much about the fact that its citizens have been raped, murdered and abducted en masse. Specifically, Ireland's Prime Minister Leo Varadkar said that world opinion would turn against Israel if it quote, goes too far in terms of its actions in Gaza. He added that while Israel has a right to defend itself, any response it offers has to be quote, proportionate. To Varadkar and the people of Ireland, I say the following. How would you like it if your island were under siege by a jihadist enemy bent on your destruction? How would you like it if a country almost 6,000 kilometres away insisted on lecturing you about how you should go about combating heinous crimes against your own people? And perhaps most pertinently, what the f*** does this mythical proportionate response to mass terrorism that you speak of actually look like? So let's get down to the specifics. How do you think Israel should safeguard the livelihood of its people while attempting to stamp out a bloodthirsty terrorist organization? Should it only demolish 20% of the command centers Hamas are using, 80% of them, or will only 70% destruction be enough to appease your desire for Israel to basically forego its right to self-defense? Radker's comments and Ireland's reaction has been nothing short of a complete disgrace. And Israel is thankful that it has much more influential and charitable friends in the international community to count upon.